Good morning everybody, Friday morning and it's a very blustery Friday morning here in the UK. Um, so blustery and wet in fact that my son contacted me earlier to say um, please don't go out mum because uh, you don't need any more broken bones. So you know the leaves underfoot are quite treacherous so um, I decided not to go to see Alfie this morning. Um, how the weather is this afternoon, maybe I will pop across to see him and um, spend some time there. I have rung to make sure everything's okay, and it is. And I shall ring again if I don't get there this afternoon, but um, I don't like to lose my time with him. I did mention in my last video that I wanted just to touch on depression and anxiety. Speaking from the point of view of someone who has experienced depression, um, but also someone as someone who has counselled people who have been diagnosed with that illness, and it is an illness. In this imperfect world, we're bound to ask questions, to seek answers, but maybe we ask the wrong questions of the wrong people. Maybe we're seeking answers from a source that can't give us any answers. It's said that there's eight stages in a human life from birth, when a baby learns to trust, through to um, preschool, when they explore and learn right from wrong and are given a modicum of discipline from their parents to school age where they're learning um, the three R's and socialising with peer groups to adolescence to adulthood early adulthood to middle age where they start to give back to society, or we start to give back to society, gleaning from all that experience that we have um, in our coffers uh, from throughout our life, giving back and working to make the world a better place, hopefully. We come to the 50, 50, 60, 70 plus age groups where hopefully we're going to be able to look back on a life that's maybe not perfect, whose life is, but a life that's been fulfilling, filled with wisdom and we can be at peace with ourselves for a job well done. Coming back to the depression part, I think you'd have to be completely insane not to have some modicum of depression at the state of the world we live in. People are segregated into groups, a hierarchy, and the reason they're segregated into groups is so that some can look down upon others as being lesser, of being lesser worse than they. It's 
it's unfair, it's not right. There should be no segregation anywhere in this country today. We have um, a royal wedding, a princess marrying a bartender, although he's got the title of um, wine merchant now, I believe. He's, um, I think he's employed actually, also working for um, George Clooney, um, who's got a wine business. So you see this hierarchy with the royals and celebrities, it's all very cliquey. Um, you try to wangle an invitation to any of their weddings and you will be sadly disappointed, or maybe not disappointed. Who teaches a child that they are better than any other child. Who ch teaches a child that his race is superior to any other race? And I feel that depression, a lot of it, and anxiety is caused by our not being true to ourselves, not finding ourselves. It was many years, many years before I became the person I was meant to be. A lot of soul searching, a lot of heartache, a lot of heartache for other people while they watch me go through it. You see, we are forced, in a way, because we are taught from a young age, we're conditioned that it's necessary for us to be accepted into groups, into certain aspects of society, to know our place, to agree and conform even though we don't want to agree and we don't want to conform. The feeling of not wanting to be an outcast is overwhelmingly important. So important, in fact, that we're not true to ourselves. I'll tell you what I believe. To grow anything needs a plan. The plants need the soil, they need the sunlight, they need food. Just as we need oxygen good food, fresh air, sunlight on our skin, social interaction. And this plan didn't just come into being. None of us are here by accident. There's a plan behind every single being on this planet. We're all part of this carpet, this great carpet, this great tapestry woven together and we're all interlinked. And unfortunately, through segregation, through the hierarchy, that tapestry is becoming undone. To go back to source, we were all atoms, we were all particles. 
spiritual beings that were given a physical form. And I don't feel that any of us are going to be 100% satisfied on this planet as a human being in with our spirit enclosed in a suit of skin. We're never going to be satisfied until we return to source. In the meantime, the purpose of life. I feel the purpose of life is to be happy in oneself, to be a little bit selfish, to find joy in one's life, not to hurt others, to give, to love, to embrace the family unit as the most precious thing that you have and never let that family unit go, never. Friends, acquaintances, we are all interlinked. We all need somebody. We all need a hug. We all need social interaction. Have a wonderful day. That's just my touch on depression. Just my feelings on depression. I'll speak to you later.